On this edition of the news, Tokyo Comic Con! They reveal some very fine statues from the Star Wars universe. Do you want some more Mandalorian merch? Because there's more on the way, thanks to a report from CNBC. More packaging variants in the Black Series. And a couple of absolutely stellar customs. You'll want to watch this. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television Toy Showcase channel. Today we have some information from Tokyo Comic Con. Now Hasbro don't go to Tokyo Comic Con. I don't know if they've done it in the past. I, last couple years doesn't exist. But revealed we have is that sweet Mandalorian. This one here is the original one before it had the paladin on his shoulder that was changed. Spoiler alert if you didn't know it, it gets a little bit of an upgrade. Have a go at that. Very, very nice. It is very similar to our number 94 in the Black Series figure. Have a look at this. There it is. Very similar to this one. Great looking design. Um, those are all glam shots. We also have some other shots from the convention. These ones are taken by some of the local news outlets there or some of the Twitter followers who go there. This one is an artifacts. The Artist Series. Ray, Decadent of Light. Very nice. It's very um, anime style. I think the Asian market will appreciate that one as well. And they also had the Kylo Ren cloaked in shadows. Lovely, lovely. We'll go over to the movie masterpiece now, the 1-6 scale fully posable figure of Kylo Ren. And last but not least, one of the Knights of Ren. Brilliant stuff. And you can see with those figures as well, we may see them eventually in the Black Series line and also in the Vintage Collection, but obviously 1-6 scale, if you're into that thing, they are on display at Tokyo, coming soon. No date or price release for those, but you know what the deal usually is. They retail for about 200 US dollars, thereabouts. Next up, we'll talk about Black Series. Um, in the previous video, I showed the packaging variant between the two Lukes, one with the incorrect spelling, one with the correct spelling. Now there is this one that isn't a correct spelling issue. It is a font issue between the two packages of the First Order Elite Snowtrooper. As you can see, one is a little bit up, one is a little bit down. Don't know why they did this. I believe the one on the right hand side is the first version and the second version is there on the left. The Elite Snowtrooper has been uh, has been spotted at Target in a full case, the full uh, case of eight. It has Bruges on the side of it. Check that out. I think because people didn't want to buy it in the mystery box, they'd rather just buy the figure on its own. As an exclusive to Target, it is $24.99 or $95. $99, we'll go to one here. $24.99. Uh, this figure also was available in the UK at Forbidden Planet on Triple Force Friday. Amazing. That was the figure they got over there, you guys. Awesome. In a recent interview with Patrick Snyder and Sam Smith, they're the two guys from Hasbro. They had a Google Hangouts and it was it included uh, the guys from Jedi Business, uh, some people from BanthaSkull.com, uh, Victoria from Victoria's Cantina, where was my invite? <laughs> Maybe one day. Anyway, there's no video up yet. I did read a bit of the transcript on Jedi Business and one of the questions posed to them from Victoria from Victoria's Cantina, she put the question to them about the Gaming Great series. Check up that picture of the Gaming Greats ones. There's the Jedi Revan and there's yeah, Battle Droid. They have Gaming Greats on the packaging. And their reply to the two figures that we know are on the way it was said that there will be more in this series and there will be a lot of newness in the line. You can't have repacks of vaults. There's new figures coming to fill up this collection. At the moment, we only know of two. Those two. There's more on the way. Confirmed. Brilliant. From Sideshow, we'll go back to them again. Uh, there is a couple of images floating around the internet. It's more of a, an artistic interpretation. The first one is a statue of Assange Ventress. It's being teased. A lot of people are doing checking this out. Very cool. We recently got the word that 
her lightsaber is on the way as well in 2020. Look at this statue. Lovely. Also Darth Sidious. <laughs> as you know, he's coming back in the next movie, The Rise of Skywalker. So his, his character will find new heights in popularity as well. So there's his Mythos statue. Brilliant stuff. So for all of you who enjoy The Mandalorian, it's so great. We get a episode every Friday. I think ours drops in on Saturdays here in Australia on this side of the world. So the merch. The merch has been talked about. Spoiler alert for you guys who haven't seen it. Just fast forward a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Baby Yoda. It's not Yoda. It's the baby that looks like a Yoda. It's from the same species. Anyway, the merch from this has been said online. The creators of the show says at the moment there's no Baby Yoda merch available. But that may change because of this report from CNBC that revealed apparel and accessories are en route to stores like Amazon, Zazzle, Target, Coles, Macy's, Hot Topic and Box Lunch. And they could arrive as soon as Friday. Already. Don't know whether it's going to be action figures. The easiest stuff for them to make is t-shirts and mugs and all that sort of homewares. Ugh. But action figures, maybe. Something. Better turn up soon because people want more Mandalorian stuff. We already have this guy, this gal, and the droid that I don't have, the IG-88. But more of this, please. This is exciting. You go there, and you go there. Oh, earlier I talked about the Snowtrooper, so I had him on display the old school one. Excellent. Good Snowtrooper. Now we move on to some customs. Brilliant customs. I always love to show a dark ray. We have done it before with this one and this one. And I think a couple more. But anyway, newest one from N8 Products. Look at this! It's the Dark Ray Lego minifigure. The packaging looks the same, but it's all scaled down really tiny to fit in cohesion with the size of the minifigure. And obviously they only stand about two and a half inches tall. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. On the back, look at all the other characters you can collect. <laughs> As you know, this is a custom. This You cannot buy this. He probably will make one to put on eBay or a couple of them. But yes, they are made to please fans alike. And if you want to follow him, it is at N8 Products online, on Instagram. Excellent, excellent stuff. Now, the other custom. We were just talking about the Mandalorian. And one of the characters has a pop. This is him. Krill. 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 I, his name, I think that's how you pronounce it. Even though I've seen two episodes, you'd think I'd remember something like this. Hasn't got an action figure, just a pop. Well, thanks to SWDIY dioramas, he made one. This is brilliant. Check this out. He's created the character in 3.75 inch form from an Ugnaught. So this one here has got more of the accessories that look much like him, the cloak around him. It came out brilliant. This is very, very well done. Thank you, my friend. We appreciate you creating figures that we want Hasbro to get ideas of and go ahead and make. This will look great in the vintage collection because as we know, we are getting the Mandalorian and Cara Dune in the vintage collection. So why not a Krill or a Kroll? <laughs> Whatever his damn name is. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much today for watching. My name is Usual Mike. I am wearing a Boba Fett shirt. <laughs> Mandalorian. Anyway, my sponsor is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, TV movies, WWE, and sci-fi needs. Check them out today. Link in the description down below. If you'd like to buy some merch, check out my shirts. All of my shirts are available in my Redbubble store. Buying from the Redbubble store helps out my channel, so thank you very much. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. And if you'd like to send some fan mail, it's up here at P.O. Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales 2480 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like button if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.